the red light is on. Obstination goes forward. Nice looking chestnut. Set. And they're racing now. Come right back was moderately away with Arian Lass getting away fast. There goes Noble Reflection up on the outside. Got a motor's caught out very deep but pressing forward with Miss Watson also wide obstination in the centre. And come right back is right there on the inside with Miss Nobel squeezing between runners. Four lengths away, zip your lips. And then came Fuel, uh, Fuel the Fryer. About two and a half to Rationale. And last of all is Run Like Fire. Arian Lass has got the lead. Leads by a half to Got a Motor. So Harvey got across to be running second. Third is Miss Watson pulling out wider. Just behind them is Noble Reflection travelling up strongly. Come right back when thrill on the inside. Obstination three deep with cover. Miss Nobel's in the middle and looking for a gap as they come to the turn and then came Fuel the Fryer taken out wide and Zip Your Lips is back on the inside. In the straight they run and Got a Mater has raced up and taken the lead but here's Noble Reflection. The Millitrain Galloper has raced up and then come right back and further back Miss Nobel Got a Mater joined by Cos Cosmic Reflection on the outside. Noble Reflection. Noble Reflection takes the lead from Gotamota. Noble Reflection in front of Gotamota and Noble Reflection beat Gotamota. Third in the big striding come right back and Rationale from the back of the field ran home well from Obstination. And then came Zip Your Lips and further back in the field was Fuel uh, your fuel the Fryer. It ran about fourth from last from Run Like Fire and they were well clear of Miss What's It and tail right off the speedy Arian Lass. Noble Reflection, number three is the winner. Noble Reflection at 4.20 and 1.70. One got a mate at 1.20. Two come right back at $2.50. Three from one and two. And uh, pretty good push uh, from Simon, suggesting it was a Saturday horse just before the race when he spoke to Gareth and felt that uh, he was still a bit raw. That's why he put him in the midweeks. And... Uh, Said you had to have something on because he had a bit of a motor. Well, he's beaten got a motor here who had its chance out in front on speed outside the leader, Arian Lass. And number two come right back third. 112.86, one and a quarter, one and a quarter. Three, one, two and 11. Three, one, two and 11 on race number one. So the uh, runner's returning here. We'll go downstairs, Simon Miller, the early runner for him. And uh, Gareth will have another chat with uh, Simon downstairs. We'll catch up with Simon Miller in just a moment. I think Richard's crossed to me. Um, just a few technical difficulties on this Wednesday afternoon. It was a great performance by the winner. Got a little bit keen in the middle stages. But Carberry, I think that was his first ride back, Brittany, from a bit of a holiday and... Um, it was a gem of a ride by P. Carberry in the end, and it was a good performance to take out the opening race. It really was, and Simon said pre-race that it was a horse that he did have a bit of confidence about, but that the horse is just still learning his craft. So uh, it was good to see him put it all together and in the end run away for a nice win. Yeah, Simon Miller joins us. Simon, usually when I interview you and you're really confident, you can give a better push than what you did before the race. But you were right, weren't you? He still does a lot wrong, but his class got him over the line today. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a nice commodity. Yeah, he's, it's funny, um, just mid-race when Paul got outside the leader and must have come off just a little bit and it landed in our lap and then we got a bit keen. And I just, the only thing I told Paddy was just to stay one off. Uh, I was worried when that cutaway being raw, he'd sort of lose it. So he loomed up like he was going to completely put him away and didn't, and that's just him, he's raw. I actually know how good he is with a set of shades on, and I thought I could give him a couple of runs without, then put him on and get a dollar. But he trialled really uh, average by his stand, by our standards for him, um, two trials ago, so I had to put him on. With blinkers, with horses, why does it seem just to really switch them on? Obviously, you don't, you prefer not to have a first couple of starts with no blinkers on, but this fella just, does he just need the blinkers? Why would that be? He, bit wayward. He lacks concentration, likes to float and, and look around rather than put him away. At home, he can launch off, off a dime and, and put him away, but when he's got to the trials, he's floated. And that was just a great indication that he was still raw, but um, I wanted him to learn. His, I had to help him rather than play games with him, so um, uh, hence the reason we went back to the trials and put him on. So what do you do with him now? Oh, I'm tempted to half put him out and let him have a little break and, and 
I'll see what Paddy says, whether you, you can't race him to give him the experience, but I'm probably, I don't know, I don't know what I'll do yet. Is he good? Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. Like, he's galloped with our better ones at home previously, but he's just uh, mentally very mature, but he's a nice horse. Right, well done. Thanks, Karen. Great to see Patrick Carberry back, yes. And uh, Kenny Beecham. Yeah, I know he's down south there. He'd be cheering. And Joe Delaney. She's an avid fan of racing, and uh, she was tickle pink with the win. So congratulations, Joe. Well done, team. Brittany Taylor's about to catch up with Patrick Carberry. And, boy, it's great to see P. Carberry back at the races. It sure is. It's amazing what a freshen up can do. We send horses for a spell, but you've come back and first up straight out of the gates. It's uh, been a nice break for you and good to be back in the winner's circle. Yeah, good to be back. Um, yeah, things have been a bit quiet for me and I always planned a holiday for a while and it was good to get away and freshen up and yeah, good to get back into it straight away. Simon puts you aboard this horse. He mentioned that his instruction, only instruction to you was just to stay one off the fence. Were you comfortable with where you were in running? Yeah, um, I, I didn't want to keep holding, holding outside the leader with um, Paul sort of uh, working forward outside me from a wide gate. Um, but he did steady up a bit mid-race and he just travelled a little bit strong, but more so because he's a bit new and, and because they, um, they did steady up. But um, I knew that the horse outside me, three wide, was going to drop off because its form wasn't that great at the trial. So once it dropped off, I actually got to the front a bit early because he's a bit new and he did switch off a bit. But um, kept him honest with the stick in the left hand and um, he's got a fair bit of upside. He's only a real baby at the moment. He is running on raw ability at the moment. Simon mentioned he'll speak to you after about whether to put him aside or whether an he'll benefit from another run just for a bit of experience. Yeah, um, the experience with doing, doing the world are good, but I, I guess it um, just depends on how he pulls up, whether he comes to the races again or, or goes out. And um, But, you know, whatever he does, he'll improve a good deal on this preparation to next preparation. But definitely one to keep an eye out for. Well done on a winning return, Paddy. Thanks, Jess. Yeah, well done to Brittany and well done to Paddy Carver. Great to see him back. OK, that's done and dusted race one will be back before the second back to our friends in the sky international studios